Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a makeup tutorial today for this look I wore to the Urban Decay Naked Cherry launch party. I'm not using the Naked Cherry palette in this look. It's still on its way to me in the mail. So I will try that out soon and film something for you guys. But I'm actually using some of the new Huda Obsessions palettes for this look and I really like it. No lashes, no liner, cause I ran out of time, but it turned out really beautiful. So I saved the tutorial. So first I'm going in with my MAC Hyper Real Foundation in the color Bronze FX. I'm applying that under my foundation. It'll just give me a really beautiful glow. For foundation, I'm going in with my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Syracuse. And I'm using a damp beauty blender, duh. Now I'm going in with my Tarte Creamy Concealer in Medium Golden. And I'm gonna use my Farsali Unicorn Essence to just give me a little help with blending it out and just pushing it into the skin seamlessly. I don't know why my camera was refusing to focus on those close product shots, but it ends up working. I don't know what I did different, but anyway, I just lightly set my under eyes with my Becca Hydra Mist Powder, and now I'm going on top of it a little heavier with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then on top of that, um, more on like the apples of my cheeks, I'm going in with my Becca Pink Haze Powder. I explain it every time, but this is just gonna give me a nice flush of color and it's really gonna pop when I put my blush on later. Now I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Blondie and reverse contouring and just kind of setting around my lips as well because I am gonna go in with a dark liquid lip in the end. So it'll just it'll keep it all really clean and from bleeding and any of that. So um, priming my lids with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm just gonna lightly set my lids with whatever powder was left over on my brush. I'm not grabbing anything new. So now the new Huda Beauty like Jewel Obsessions palettes. I'm not sure what the full range is called, but we're gonna be using um, Topaz Obsessions and Ruby Obsessions. Starting out with Topaz Obsessions, I'm gonna go in with this peach color. It's very subtle, especially on my skin tone, but I just want to um, kind of set my transition area and just have a tiny flush of color to start building other things on top of it. So going in with this burnt orange next and a more tapered brush, um, I'm just gonna work that into my crease and wing it out. Lately, I've been bringing my eyeshadow slightly above my crease, and I feel that it's been working better for me. I have very low set brows, but this is the only way I can like really show off show off that color, especially when my eyes are open. And now I'm going in with this dark coffee matte brown, and I'm not building up the color too much because I wanted it to be very diffused and kind of smoky. I'm just working it into my outer V and like down into my lash line, just so when I apply my lid color, um, I already have like a darker base on the outer corner. You'll see. <laughs> And now I'm gonna dig into the Ruby Obsessions palette. I'm gonna take this ruby color <laughs> and I'm gonna lightly feather it over my crease color. I don't wanna overpower it, but I just wanna give it like that little ruby tint. But um, on my actual lid where I don't have any pigment down yet, I'm gonna really pack it on and I'm creating kind of like a sandwich. I'm in, blah, 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 wow, I can't talk. I'm gonna keep the center a little empty so I can you know, create like a halo eye. And just to really make sure that halo pops, I'm just gonna pat a tiny bit of concealer on the center of my eye and just blend it out. And then I'm gonna take this more shimmery ruby color from the Ruby Obsessions palette and just pat that on the center of my lid. This palette is like very trendy ever since like Modern Renaissance and the Kylie, I don't know what it's called, the Burgundy palette, I think. Like these colors are amazing. And I really like these little Obsessions palettes that Huda does because they're great for travel. But again, I hate when palettes don't have a brow bone color. So that's what I grabbed from that NARS Mojave palette to just um, highlight my brow bone as well as the inner corner of my eye. I am gonna make the inner corner pop even more with some actual highlight. I'm going in with the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. Whew, I'm like blowing through this tutorial. So you saw I brushed away all that under eye powder and set my face. I'm gonna keep spraying my face throughout. That way all my makeup will like 
bleed together, it won't look cakey, and it won't look powdery because we don't want that. I like to highlight my nose before I contour it. So now we're gonna go in with, um, we're gonna start building out the shape of the nose. So first I'm gonna reverse contour with my Huda Beauty um, Blondie Powder, and I'm using the Morphe 360 Nose Collection. And after that powder is on is when I'll lay down my darker color. I'm using my Laura Mercier Matte Bronzing Powder and another one of the brushes from that 360 Nose Contour Collection. And I'm gonna draw those lines on, and then I'm gonna pat that powder back on and for me this was like the best way to contour my nose it took me forever to figure out what worked for me it still isn't perfect but um it's much better than where i was before <laughs> so now for blush i'm going in with an hourglass ambient lighting blush and then i just used the opposite side of that brush which i used for powder before to just diffuse the edges and just tone down tone down the pigment if it's too much and now i'm just applying some color back to my face and lightly contouring with an hourglass ambient lighting bronzer and i love this brush from morphe it's from the jaclyn hill master collection brushing away that powder again and we're gonna set again with a hydrating mist not a mattifying mist for me at least not for my skin so i'm using the smashbox primer water and now for another touch of highlight i'm going in with the fenty diamond balm i like to apply this when my skin is wet so after i spray with a hydrating mist i like to go in directly with the highlight and now i'm going to line my lips with my nars spunk lip pencil And now for my liquid lip, I'm going in with the new Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in the color Unveil. It's a beautiful chocolate brown. And yeah, I totally ran out of time. So no liner or falsies. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply a nice coat of mascara. I'm using my NARS Climax Mascara. And that's it, guys. First, I thought it was like a total look fail, but I filmed like the final shot and I went to the party and then I was watching all my snaps and myself and other people's snaps and I was like, oh, it's a pretty look. I really like it. So I hope you guys liked it too. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.